Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use our text widget that is found within our content editor. Now to showcase this, I'm actually going to scroll down here to our contents and I want to use this burger menu content. However, I need to duplicate it because I don't want to mess up the original. So now that I've done this, I'm going to click into it. And as you can see here, we're now in our content editor. Uh, from our layers panel, you can see that we already have some images in here as well as a shape. Um, but we have a little bit of animation going on with this text that you see here. So to showcase the, the text widget, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it. It can be found under our widgets panel here, but text is right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. I'd say I want to put it at the bottom. And now that I've put it here, it says enter your text here. It, it's prompting me to enter text. So let me do that. Uh, ask about our specials. All right, now that I've done that, uh, say I didn't like where this was placed down here and I want to move it around. I certainly can. I can also resize, but say I don't want to align something exactly here or, or line it up myself. I want to I want to align it exactly to the top. So I can do that with these presets, as you can see, aligned to top and horizontally, I can align to center. Perfect. So now I'm going to expand this just a little bit here. And so we can increase the font size. So I'm going to put it up to about 54 here. And I want to change my font family as well. So I can do that by clicking here and let me find something that suits me. There we are. So now that I've used this font family, say you were an organization that wanted to use your own corporate branding and you have your own font style, you can certainly use that. First, you're going to be able to click this plus icon here, and that's going to take you into our file manager. From here, you can see I've uploaded many TIFF files um, and how that's done is you just click this plus icon and then click upload. And then that's going to take you uh, to your computer's files and you can go ahead and upload that TIFF file. So let me exit out of this. And now I have my font, but I want to bold it because it's a little too thin, but I also have the option to italicize and underline. Now I can change my font color as well. Um, I can look at recent colors that have been used. Um, and I can also pick the color that I want, but say I want to get my color exact to what I have in my content. I can do that by using the dropper tool. So I'm going to click that and then click on this red here and perfect. It matches now. So now that I've done this, I want to be able to space my letters just a little bit more. I can do that. That looks a little bit better. And you see how this has this outline here. Well, I mean, you can do this with this text shadow. You can either have a drop shadow or you can have it kind of have a little outline to it. So I'm going to pick this light uh, drop shadow and I'm going to make it sharp. And now it has a similar outline to this text that's animated here. Now, say I did want to animate my text. How would I go about doing that? You can do that by going into this other tab here. And now that I'm here, as you can see, there's this animation menu and it has repeat animation. As you can see, this animation is repeating and it seems to be pulsing as well. So that's going to be using our pulse animation. Now you can see the text is pulsing. Um, but say I wanted to make some other uh, adjustments to my content. Say that that quick align didn't work well for me. Um, I want to move my uh, widget into a very specific spot. And you can do that by using the position. Uh, size and position here and as you can see you can make it pixel perfect um, just by using these and you can type in your own parameters and you can also do some quick rotates here so that's going to be on this other tab now say i wanted to preview this before i send it out to my screen i can certainly do that by clicking on the save icon here that saved my content now but now i can preview it so click this play button and now you're going to see that it's going to start playing through my content. And then it's also going to be showing that pulse animation. So now that I've been able to view my content, let me go ahead and exit out of here. And get back into full screen and say, I wanted to make a change on the fly. Um, we no longer are having specials, but I want to be able to change my text. So I can do that by just going to main here and then I can change my text back to now hiring. All right, click save. And now we have our updated content now hiring. That's going to be it for this video on the text widget. There will be more tutorial videos going through some of the other widgets that we have and other features found within our CMS. As always, please let us know if you have any questions by sending us an email at sales at 
Thank you and see you next time.